Hello friends and my dear students. Welcome to Ashish Single Hashtag Mathematics. Now today we are going to continue our episode 3 where we are going to take up exercise 2.2 of NCERT class 12 question number 5. If you recall in the last episode I have given you certain hints whenever you have 1 minus x square or root of 1 minus x square then we substitute x is equal to sin theta or cos theta. Whenever you have x square plus 1, we substitute x is equal to tan theta or cot theta. And whenever we have x square minus 1, we substitute x is equal to sec theta or cosec theta. So going, on, going with these substitutions, let us simplify question number 5. Tan inverse root 1 plus x square minus 1 upon x. Let x is equal to tan theta. When we substitute x is equal to tan theta, we get tan inverse root of 1 plus tan square theta minus 1 upon tan theta. As you all know, 1 plus tan square theta is sec square theta and square root of sec square theta is sec theta. So this is tan inverse sec theta minus 1 upon tan theta. Convert these terms in terms of sine and cos. So we get tan inverse sec theta is 1 by cos theta so we get 1 minus cos theta upon cos theta and tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta. So both the cos thetas gets cancelled which can be simplified as 2 sin square theta by 2 upon 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. So one of the sin gets cancelled, 2 gets cancelled and we are left with tan inverse tan theta by 2. This gives us theta by 2. Now dear friends, what is the value of theta? We have substituted x is equal to tan theta. So theta is tan inverse x. So our simplified form is half tan inverse x. So here you have seen we have to substitute x as tan theta. On simplifying we get theta by 2 and where theta is tan inverse x. So this is a simplified form of this question. Now let's move on to question number 6. Tan inverse 1 upon root x square minus 1. So in this question we substitute x is equal to sec theta. When we are substituting x is equal to sec theta we get tan inverse 1 upon root sec square theta minus 1. Sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. So this becomes tan inverse 1 upon tan theta which can be written as cot theta which can be written as tan pi by 2 minus theta. Hence our simplified form is pi by 2 minus theta. Then what is the value of theta? Sec inverse x. So this gives us pi by 2 minus sec inverse x. See again students what we have done. We have substituted x as sec theta. So sec square theta minus 1 gives us tan square theta under root. So that gives us tan theta. 1 by tan is cot and cot is tan pi by 2 minus theta which gives us pi by 2 minus theta. Substitute the value of theta as sec inverse x. Hence our result is pi by 2 minus sec inverse x. Now moving on to question number 7. It is tan inverse root of 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x. Very simple question. 1 minus cos x 
is 2 sin square x by 2 and this is 2 cos square x by 2. On simplifying we get tan inverse tan x by 2 so our result is x by 2. In this kind of question we don't have to substitute because we are able to apply the formula directly. Now moving on to question number 8. Tan inverse cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x. When you have this kind of question, in class 11 we have done only cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x. We divide the numerator as well as the denominator by cos x to convert it in terms of tan. So same way here also we will be doing, we will be converting in terms of tan. So we get tan inverse dividing by cos x both the sides numerator and denominator we get 1 minus tan x upon 1 plus tan x. This is the identity for tan inverse tan pi by 4 minus x. So the answer is pi by 4 minus x. So you have seen how important is class 11th identities. We need to use them in solving these questions. Now moving on to question number 9. Question number 9 is tan inverse x upon square root of a square minus x square. Now in this question the problem is instead of 1 this is a square. So in our substitution we need to be very very clever. We have to substitute x as a, a sin theta or a cos theta. Both will help us. So we will substitute x is equal to a sin theta. We get tan inverse a sin theta under root a square minus a square sin square theta. This on simplification, this a will come out, it will get cancelled with a and we are left with sin theta by cos theta which is tan inverse of tan theta which gives us theta. Now what is the value of theta from here? Theta value is x upon a sin inverse. So we get this is equal to sin inverse x upon a. So dear friends whenever there is a in the question we need to substitute x value in terms of a. Now moving on to question number 10th. Question number 10th is tan inverse 3a square x minus x cube upon a cube minus 3ax square. Again, in this question a is again there. So we substitute let x is equal to a tan theta. When we substitute x is equal to a tan theta, we get 3a cube tan theta minus a cube tan cube theta upon a cube minus 3a cube tan square theta. All the a cubes will get cancelled and we will be left with tan inverse tan 3 theta which is 3 theta. So the value of theta is tan inverse x upon a. So the simplified form of this question is 3 tan inverse x upon a. Now from question number 11, a different type of question starts and we need to find out the values of each question. We have to find out the values 
from question number 11th onwards. Question 11 says find the value of tan inverse 2 cos 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. In this kind of question we need to start from the innermost bracket. When you start from the innermost bracket it is very easy to solve. This is tan inverse 2 cos sin inverse half 30 degree that is pi by 6. So 2 into pi by 6. So that gives you pi by 3. Tan inverse now cos pi by 3 that means cos of 60. Cos 60 is half. So 2 into half that gives you tan inverse 1. So the ultimate answer is pi by 4. Question number 12 now. Find the value of cot tan inverse A plus cot inverse A. As you all know friends, tan inverse A plus cot inverse A is pi by 2. So we get cot of pi by 2 and the answer is 0. Question number 13, tan half sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square plus cos inverse 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square. These two are direct identities or oh, here it should be y square otherwise we have the same formula. This is the identity of 2 tan inverse x. This is the identity of 2 tan inverse y. So we apply tan half 2 tan inverse x to tan inverse y. This is the identity for tan inverse x, 2 tan inverse x. This is the identity for 2 tan inverse y. We take 2 common and we are left with tan of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Now we apply the formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y and we get the result tan ok I will write on the upper side we get the result tan tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus xy hence the answer is x plus y upon 1 minus xy. So friends you have seen that one identity is used here, one identity is used here and one identity is used here. So the whole question is solved by applying three different identities at different time and that simplifies the question. Now moving on to question number 14. If sine of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to 1, then find the value of x. This sine goes to this side and we get sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. This is the identity sin inverse x plus cos inverse y is pi by 2. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. So this value and this value need to be same. So x value is 1 by 5. Now we move on to question number 15. Question number 15 is if tan inverse x minus 1 upon x minus 2 plus tan inverse 
x plus 1 upon x plus 2 is pi by 4 then find the value of x when you have to solve this question tan inverse x minus 1 upon x minus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 upon x plus 2 apply the identity tan inverse x minus 1 upon x minus 2 plus x plus 1 upon x plus 2 divided by 1 minus x minus 1 into upon x minus 2 multiplied with x plus 1 upon x plus 2. We have used the identity tan inverse a plus tan inverse b. On simplifying this, we get, if we simplify this, we get 2x square minus 4 upon minus 3 is equal to tan goes to that side tan pi by 4 which is 1. So 2x square is equal to 1 x square is equal to 1 by 2 x is equal to plus minus 1 by root 2. Students when you get two answers like here x is equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 we need to check always put this value into the question on the left hand side and check which value satisfies the answer. So out of the two only one will be the right answer. So here on checking we will find out when I put minus 1 by root 2 this will not satisfy the equation and plus 1 by root 2 will satisfy the equation so x is equal to 1 by root 2 will be the solution. I hope you must have liked the solution or you must have understood what we have done today. So subscribe, like and share Ashish single hashtag mathematics and keep watching this channel. Thank you.